So this is our second exercise uh, in GUI Geographic User Interface MATLAB. We are planning to design such an interface. We have static text, we have a radio buttons, and we have uh, check buttons, and we have clear and display. When, it's, when we just started, should be clear like this. This is my dynamic text, my static text. Then when I display, I show hello world. If you want it bold, you click here. If you want it normal, click here again. So this is bold normal. If you want to clear it, it's clear now. It's a blank. Display it again. If I want to change the font size, I have to click in here. This is regarding 8, font size 12, font size 16. And clear again. To design such a geographic user interface for our second exercise, uh, kindly follow me with the following steps. Run your MATLAB program. And... So, when we start, I will go for uh, GUIDE, open a blank exercise, this is my blank exercise, create a static text quickly like this, this is an edit text, this is not what we want, we are looking for static text, this is my static text, change the background to be clear when we use it change the font size to 14 is good for me change the tag to text txt that's it and here we keep it blank a uh, push button this is my push button I'll change the font size to 14 then I'll go to tag it with tag I use display then I would go for the string I would call it display text is display text uh, that's it for the first thing now uh, whenever you finish the fifth, this step, you will have to add the code. Before adding the code, um, let me save it on my desktop. Save. Now exercise has been saved. I need to go to display callback. I will set my function like this. Set handles dot text and then comma quotation I will write string because I want to change the string to hello world that's it I will save my program I will run it save display hello world as you can see here there is small error we enhance it make it better that's it hello world now in a case that you want to clear it I will create another button ctrl C ctrl V I will change the string to clear clear text then the tag gonna be clear that's it you save it then we go to clear you remember display that we have set text to be hello world now I will set the text to be just a blank so I have to delete the hello world to just a space or nothing inside that's it when we run the program 
this is the statement and this is the clearance this is the first thing the second part of this exercise you have now we need to co create a check box you see I will try the I will create the following check box for bold and normal typing so double click on it then change the font size to 14 to be very obvious then go to the string change check box bold slash normal and choose a tag for your checkbox I'll choose bold okay that's it that's it for me now I'll go to the code I will add my code to the checkbox go to bold now the first thing that I have to assign a variable which uh, this variable represents the checkbox status I will assign x equal to get then I will uh, open the bracket I will assign a bold a value for the bold so when you check the box it will be either 0 or 1 if you choose 0 it's unchecked if it's 1 so it's checked so x value is represented the check box status so x would get handles then handles the bold which is the checkbox give it a value so we just write like this value and close the box that's it now I will write an if statement if x had been checked that means x is 1 so set handles dot change the text to choose uh, font uh, font weight to be font weight to be bold close the bracket otherwise else set text to be normal then end your status I will save my project and run it hopefully it's working okay so we have missed something simple in here so if you want to change the text which is the display so this is the font weight and this is the font weight uh, font weight get handles then this is dot bold I'm controlling the bold <coughs> value and we forget just to add this thing then set it run the project again so this is clear set this is bold and this is normal like this so this is the second part of our project had been done now we have to go to the third and last part of this exercise save your project then go to your GUI I, I will create a box from here this is bottom group box this is my box like this then I create a three radio buttons this is number one and this is the second one and this is the third one change the font size and the properties of the three buttons same as we have learned before do a simple thing at the beginning now this one I will call it selecting the font size so I will call uh, from <coughs> button 
group this is the title select font size and then I will change the tag to select I'll make small letter select next step I have to change the font size a little bit to be bigger 12 so select the font size obviously it's clear now I go to the first button I will change font size to 12 and I will change the next button font size to 12 to make it clear it's just design and decoration is 12 and I will have to change the title or the strings go to string from string this is font size 8 size 8 and this is font size 12 from string font size 12 and this one gonna be font size 14 or 16 as it's obvious in here that I have to change the tag for the three radio buttons so the th first tag would be font 8 second tag would be font 12 this is a very important thing that you will be v uh, very careful when you fold this information because if you did any mistake it will not be called back in the code so this is go to tag font 16 that's it now the second part is to add the code save this following file and make sure that the object orders is like this this is the select font size as you can see here this is the tag select this is the name of the object this is the tag this is the name of the object it has the following sequence now you may close it we got it from here object browser now save your project and go to the editor in the editor here we have two steps the first step is identifying the object block by adding the following code to the open function anything this is the file name or the opening function here you have to add the following code save it at the beginning then add the code same like this now all what we have to do we have to go to the opening function then here you have to add the following code this code is to handle the select as we have said that select is the objects which is this one this is the select font size object the all objects the all objects we are selecting this in the selection change function and we have add the following code the following code you have to memorize in the case that you want to use all the objects with the same categories inside the object text so we have add the following line make sure that this line is directly before handles that out that object now after that we have to go to the end of the file of the end file this is the last thing in our file now we are trying to put uh, I'll just copy the code then I will explain it to save the time of the recording so I will add the following thing I will add a function this function is select which is the select objects and I have to add the following code this is object and even data now handle this 
uh, GUI data under the object and the switch get the new value under tag now in a case of font 8 set font size to 8 in the second case of font 12 set the font size to 12 in the third case set the font size to 16 otherwise and the project and update the GUI data and object and handles now we run our project as you can see here this is display wall this is bold and normal clear text explain again this is the font size of 12 8 16 8 12 and 16 in the case that you want to change the font 16 to 18 you just have to change this thing to 8 now save your project run it again this is it this is 12 and this is 18 it looks 16 but the real value is 18 we can make 24 by just save it run it again this is my text and this is 24 you see the difference so this is our second exercise you just have to read it understand it very well then you can create other creative novel exercises by yourself thank you very much for your listening and see you in the next exercise